Greetings guys, La Architects here and welcome back. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make this wavy wood facade using basic Revit massing tools only. And sorry for not making many videos these days because I had a lot of things to do. Okay, this is uh, the building we're gonna use for the sake of the tutorial. There is nothing inside, it's just for the tutorial purpose. Okay, first thing you wanna do once you have your building is go to massing and site in place mass you can name it whichever you want to name it I'm gonna leave it at mass 1 alright and the first step is to make a reference plane when you come to create under create there is what is called plane reference plane select it let's make four reference planes on the west side because that's where our wall is gonna be our facade is going to be okay this is the first one second one third and the fourth one click escape and let's rename uh, the reference planes I'm gonna name this one a this one B C and D the name really depends on you whichever name you want to put in there go ahead and let's uh, add in some dimensions in order to make the reference planes equal once you have the dimensions here come here and click on the EQ sign to make it equal now you can delete the dimensions alright now let's start uh, making the wood patterns now we're gonna go to the west elevation actually the south elevation sorry okay once we are in the south elevation we're gonna draw on the planes not on the surface okay so click on the line here on modi under modify pick a plane let's go with plane a because that's our first plane all right so let's start drawing the pattern we want the dimension doesn't matter you just want to play with it a little bit after we made a straight line let's select the spline and start playing around all right okay and let's select the straight line again and bring all the way back up now and then you can select it uh, again the spline to just play around with the shape okay maybe I want this one to do this and this one to come back a little bit down here alright okay I think I'm fine with the first one and then go select the line again reference plane B remember if you're in uh, using Revit uh, that is below Revit 2020 you're gonna have this green thing at the top here so don't worry about it okay so once we've selected reference plane B let's make the second one once again my straight line it's just the same process for C and D okay let's make this one let me all right maybe I want this one to do this here this one to come here The pattern really depends on your taste, you know, you just play around with it and see what you like. Okay, this one is here. Maybe let me modify it a little bit. Okay, I want you to be here. And this one. Alright, I think that's fine there. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like this. Okay, so let's make the third one. Same process again. Select the line, come back to placement plane, reference plane C. Okay, here I want this one to be here. Maybe I'm gonna make this one just straight. Down here, and boom. 
Okay. That's done. Same process again. Come back, replace plan D. Come here and make and go select the spline. I want this one to be like this maybe. Okay. Come a little bit inside here. Go out some more. Just create what you like. I'm just playing with it. it the shape really depends on what you want to give, the look that you want to give out. Okay. Let me come back and be here. Okay. These are done. So let's go to 3D view now. All right. The West view. As you can see, there is nothing yet. So you have to select each of the model lines that you just made. Once you select the first one, click on control and select the rest. Now, go to create form, solid form. Don't panic, I know there is nothing here yet. That's because we haven't created the voids. So in order to do that, we need to go back to level one and uh, click on, on creating another uh, reference plane on the west side, okay, plane. This is for the void. This reference plane is for the void. So I'm going to name it V as in void. All right. Okay, that's done. Now we're going to the west elevation. And then come down here to visual style and click on wireframe in order to see the windows behind and all that. All right. Once that's done, I'm going to start uh, creating the void now and select V once you've clicked on the square thing okay how many millimeters do I want this to be let me scroll down a little bit all right this one is done actually let me move it uh, further let me just move it here, somewhere here. All right. Maybe I want this one to be like a hundred millimeters, 100 mm. Okay. And then uh, we're gonna do create a void. Once we do that, we need to go to 3D and see all right you see it created the voids inside here so you need to select this red arrow and bring the void outside all right all right so you see the void is now outside what you're gonna do is uh, select this void and copy it to the other places all right let's go back to the west elevation tap to select the void that's done copy it make sure copy multiple is selected though okay that's done now let's copy all of these and then select the rest in order to do that come to one of them uh, and then click on tab it's gonna select everything and then control okay sorry tab control select Tab, Control, Select. Tab, Control, Select. All right. Okay, once you've uh, selected these, what you're going to do is uh, copy. Click on the copy sign. Make sure multiple is selected. Once again, if you're below Revit 2020, this green thing is going to be at the top here. So don't worry about it. If you don't see it at the top, look at the bottom. Okay, let's select this one and just keep on copying it.
think we're good now. Now let me go to 3D view and show you what it looks like as of now. Okay, right now you cannot see the windows. You see our weave is already here, but you cannot see the windows or the door. Don't worry, we just have to create other voids in order to see them. So go back to the west elevation. Okay, let me go to the window. Select uh, this rectangle. Make sure it's always on V. On the reference plane V. And then let me just come here. Alright. That's done. Select it. And void form. Okay, go to 3D view now. And make sure, okay, once again, the void is created in, on the inside. Make sure you move it. You move the red thing outside. Until, all right. Come on. Now you can see the window, see? Now you can see the window. You can clearly see the window. So it's the same process for the rest of the windows. West elevation. Okay, tab, select the void. Copy it down. Just copy it down here. Okay, this is going to take a little bit of time, like, depending on the speed of your computer, though. Let me copy it to this side. Okay, you can see the windows. Let me do one for the door now. Same process. Where is my door? It's here. Okay. All the way down. All right. Escape and select uh, the model and click on solid void form. And let me go back to 3D again to move the void towards the outside. Okay. Come on. All right, now that that's done, you can clearly see the door. As for this window here, that's just the bathroom window. I would like to leave it like that so that I won't have to buy any curtains in order to hide myself when I'm taking a shower or whatever. <laughs> okay. So now we got to add in the materiality to the, to, the, to, to the woven facade. Okay, let me go to consistent colors here and select the whole thing. You click on, when you select one side, you just click on tab and select the whole thing. All right, material by category. Let's just, let's, okay, we're just gonna select a wooden material here. Look for wood. Okay, we can select whichever wood we want. How about I go with wood stain, use render uh, appearance, apply. Okay, you can clearly see the wooden, the wooden colors in here. But for the sake of the tutorial, I'm gonna render it and show you exactly what it's gonna look like. Finish mass. Come on. All right, let me make a 3D view. Let's go back to level one. Okay, view, 3D view, camera. And uh, all right. I think this is fine. Now let's render this uh, using the cloud rendering software because I like it better, okay? Let me just, okay, we're already in view render in cloud. I would always recommend for you to render it in cloud so that you can keep on working on your projects and the uh, quality is better too, all right? 3D view one, okay. Still image, all right. Standard, I'll go with final, medium. I'll go with medium megapixels, advanced, email me when it's complete. 
all right so we're just gonna leave it to render and wait for it to be done Okay, while we wait for the rendering to finish online, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so that I can keep on making more free videos for you guys. And if you'd like me to give you these uh, files for free, simply subscribe to my channel and email me and I will gladly send it to you as soon as I can. And uh, also, I'm, I'm gonna leave my emails below in the descriptions. Okay, the rendering is done. I actually have it in here with me. So this is what the final rendering looks like. It's kind of cool. If you even wanted it to make like more wavy, you didn't have like I made the middle one of mine straight because that's what I like. You can make everything wavier if you want to. Plus, let me go to the consistent colors. This is really cool though. You can show it off to your friends, your teachers, or whatever. Let's say your parents are paying for your schools. I mean, show them, mom and dad, look, I'm making wavy things with your money. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.